Welcome to the workout. We're gonna start off with a dynamic warm up. We're gonna do about 10 exercises in a row at 20 seconds a piece. We have Bianca here today doing this workout for you. So we're gonna start off with 20 seconds of run in place. Let's go and get it started, go. Good job, run in place, just like you're running in place. Keep the shoulders back. We're focusing on keeping the core tight throughout the entire workout, all right? We're gonna transition quick from exercise to exercise during the warm up. Remember, 20 seconds each. Here we go, five more seconds. We're gonna switch to up downs in place. Three, two, let's go to up downs. We're gonna tap the toe with a slight bend on the knee and then full extension up in the air. Good job, notice how Bianca's getting as high as she can. She's extending her body, getting really loose up top. Good, Letting the, getting the blood flowing, ready for a tough workout here, going intense. We're going five more seconds, switching to high knees in place. Good, three, two, good, relax, high knees in place. So we're just leaning back a little bit more. That's the biggest difference from just a normal run in place. You wanna try and lean back, get those knees up, stay light on the feet. Good job, breathing through it. Good, keeping the hands there, make sure it's coming up high enough. Five seconds, we're going one leg back, we're gonna do a knee repeater, three, Two, good, relax. Taking one leg back, we're gonna stay light on the back foot. We're gonna drive the knee in, good. So on the knee repeaters, she's going at a good slow pace right here. She's finding her rhythm. The biggest points on these is we wanna keep the weight going through the front heel. We're gonna keep the inner thigh tight in that front leg and the core engaged. There we go. Five more seconds, we're gonna switch legs. Not spending a lot of time here. Three, two, good, let's switch legs. Same thing, focus on the front heel movement, good. As you get the feel for this exercise, you'll be able to get a little bit lower, but you still gotta keep those hips engaged in the back, inner thigh really tight, good. Eight more seconds here. Good job keeping the weight through the front heel. Five to go, we're gonna switch to up downs in place. Three, two, good. We're tapping the toes, full extension up in the air. Just like before, good. So this is not a squat, it's just a slight bend on the legs, stretching the hamstrings out a little bit, and then full extension up in the air. 10 more seconds, we're gonna drop down to hands and toes, mountain climber position, through, uh, five to go here. Come on, here we go, three, two, good, relax, mountain climber position. So we're going down to hands and toes, good job. Go ahead and drive one knee into the same side elbow, good, we're gonna alternate legs, left to left, right to right, good. So the big focus is on these, and we're gonna get a different angle later on in the workout. You wanna keep the chest, directly over those thumbs, the core really tight. We got five more seconds. We're gonna drop to the knees for push-up position. Three, two, good push-up position. Let's go to the knees. So we're gonna focus on leading the movement with the chest. Take the chest forward. Keep those arms really tight in the body. Core really strong, good. A couple things that you might do or might see yourself doing is leading this movement with your head. You're jutting your head forward. You wanna make sure and keep it really strong. Go ahead, five more seconds. Almost got it, here we go. Three, two, awesome. Let's bring it all the way up. We're coming to squat position now. So we're gonna do a squat, keep the arms in the center. We're gonna squat down and twist across, right to left. Good. So the leg, you want it, the leg to come straight up in the air and the upper body's doing the twisting across. Good, opposite arm and leg. Awesome job, 10 more seconds here. With these squats, you wanna make sure and drive those hips back through the heels. Five more seconds, we're switching to high knees in place. Three, two, good, let's get them up. High knees in place. Good job, good job. Should start feeling that heart rate getting up right about now. We got a couple more exercises, making sure those shoulders are back really strong in the middle. Eight more seconds, we're going back down to mountain climbers. I'm gonna have Bianca turn to the left when she does these. Good, three, two, good job. Mountain climber position. Perfect here, good angle. Chest directly over those thumbs. Notice how her shoulders are backing down. Let's have you bring your chest up just a little bit, perfect. Belly button's in tight, right to right, left to left. Great job, 10 more seconds. When you keep that back really strong, really straight up top, you're working from the lower belly all the way to the upper. Let's go five more seconds. We're bringing it up for the last warm up exercise. Three, two, good job, let's bring it up. Plie squat position, last exercise. Really important squat variation here. Rotate the feet out to the side, and we're gonna do a full squat. Drive the hips back, driving through the heels. Good, 20 seconds on these. So again, the biggest difference between the plie squat and the regular squat is we're rotating the feet out. This helps us focus on leading the movement with the hips, meaning your hips are going back as far back as they can go. We got five more seconds. 
Once the hips are back, the body will go down when it's ready. Good. Three, two, good job. Let's take a quick break. We're coming back for circuit number one. Welcome back. We're going to do a circuit here. We're going to grab some dumbbells. We want to go about five pounds or eight pounds. Have both ready because we're going to go heavy. If we're going to start heavy and then go light as we need to. We're going to go ahead and start off with a plie squat. We're going to do a bicep curl and a press. So we're doing three motions on this one. Let's go ahead. We're going for 25 seconds for this first exercise. Let's go. So we're doing a plie squat. We're going to do a bicep curl as we come up and then a press at the end. And we're going to go ahead and keep on going. Big squat down, curl it and press it. We're going to have Bianca get a little bit wider stance with the plie squat. Yeah, so when we're too close together, sometimes our knees will bow forward, causing our heels to lift. You want to make sure and always keep your weight through your heels on these squats. Five more seconds. We're going to drop the weights, go to push-up position. Good. Three, two, let's drop it down, push-up position. We're just doing push-ups in place here. Good angle. So you can see that back staying really straight. Remember, with the head, you do not want to leave this motion with the head, so the back of the head will be even with the spine. Good. Notice how she just looked about two or three feet out in front of herself, and that makes sure everything stays really extended on the back here. Long and lean body. Five more seconds. We're coming back up, grabbing the dumbbells. Good. Three, two, let's bring it up. Grab those dumbbells. We're going to do an alternate reverse lunge, adding a bicep curl. All right, so go ahead and do the ang left angle face here. Turn the other way. There we go. Good. So we're going to do a reverse lunge. When we're down, we're going to do a bicep curl. Good job. And alternate legs. Other leg goes back. Good job. Notice a couple of things here. Very important. The front leg is staying at 90 degrees, ensuring that she's working the right muscles, back of the thigh, and a lot of butt working here. The posture staying really upright, shoulders back and down, core engaged. Looking really good here. Five more seconds. We're going to keep the dumbbells. Three, two, good job. Overhead tricep extension. So we're going with the weights behind the head here and driving them straight up. Good. Go ahead and start going. See what we need to do here. Good job. So notice she's doing a really good job of keeping the weights as far back as she can, making sure her triceps are staying really extended. And she's focusing on putting the flat part of this dumbbell into the flat part of the ceiling. So you get work from the tricep all the way from your lower to the upper tricep. Good job. Here we go. Five more seconds. We're going to do those four exercises in a row one more time and you'll take a break. Three, two, good job. Let's go back to plie squat, curl and press. Good. Now that you know what we're doing, we're going to quick transition through these. Do one more round of them. Good job. Nice wide stance. Again, the first part of this motion is driving those hips back. And then we're doing a curl and we're doing a press. Everything's full extension, especially with the arms. Full extension with the bicep curl, full extension with the press. Awesome job. Let's do a couple more. We've got five more seconds. Remember, we're going to push ups after this one. Great job. Three, two, good. Dropping those weights, dropping down to push up position. Good. What are we doing? Keeping those ba uh, shoulders back and down, body long and lean, core engaged. Good. Motions leading with the chest. Awesome. Here we go. Keep that rhythm going. Good, good, good. Let's get a few more in. Got it. Five more seconds. Bring it up, grabbing those weights. We've got two more exercises. Three, two, let's bring it up, grabbing those weights. Alternate reverse lunge with the bicep curl when we're down. Here we go. Good. Curling it up. Full extension with the arms. Posture staying really nice and upright. A lot of times as we start getting tired with these, we'll let the front knee go forward just a little bit. So you want to make sure and readjust your body. Keep that core engaged and posture up big. Keep that front leg at 90 degrees. Good job. Here we go. Five more seconds. Switching it up to overhead tricep extensions. Three, two, good job. Dumbbells behind the head. Driving them as far back as you can go and straight up to the sky. Good job. 
Let those weights drop. Good, notice how the arms are coming forward just a little bit. You gotta readjust, make sure the arms stay back, even with the ears. There we go. Far back as you go so we can work that entire tricep area. Great job, let's get a couple more, y'all. Five more seconds, we'll get another quick break. All the way back, good, three, two, good job, y'all. Take a quick break, coming back for the next circuit. Good job. Welcome back, we're gonna do another circuit. We're gonna start off with one dumbbell in the split stance squat position. All right, so we're gonna do one split stance squat, come up to a bicep curl and then a press. Good, curl it and press it. Split stance squat, 90 degrees to that front heel. If you feel like your foot is going from side to side, you wanna make sure and keep your inner thigh really tight. So you wanna drive your weight into your big toe. Good, that helps lock the hips in, keep that posture nice and tall. The biggest thing is we got five more seconds for this side. I'll tell you on that next side. Three, two, good. Let's switch in legs, switch in arms. Good angle here. <clears throat> good, notice how Bianca's front knee just kind of went forward a little bit too much. You want to make sure and keep it as close to 90 degrees as we can. Good, sometimes a couple of corrections on these is we're going to have the uh, back leg go a little bit further back, like one more inch, perfect. And now watch how that knee right at 90 degrees. So if you have a mirror or somebody to ask, hey, is my leg at 90 degrees? Go ahead and do that, it's very important. Great, three, two, good job. Let's grab another dumbbell. We're gonna go ahead and do fives on this one. We're going back to overhead tricep extension, kicking those weights way back. Here we go. Going for 20 seconds on here. Get a few good reps in. Good, nice and tall posture. Keeping the core engaged, dumbbells are going as far back as she can let them go down. Good. Flat part of the dumbbell on top into the flat part of the ceiling. Awesome job. Five more seconds, plie squat position, y'all. Dropping those weights. Three, two, good. Drop the weights, plie squat position. You can keep the weights if you want. You can leave them in the middle. Good. Bianca's keeping her weights. You can keep them or you can drop them. If you need more of a challenge, keep those weights. Great job. So with the weight still driving those hips back, big straight posture, you're gonna drive that chest towards the sky. It's really strong in the middle. Good job. All the way back and down. Great, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> drive it way back. Five more seconds, let's get a couple more. We're gonna do the split stance curl press again. Got it, three, two, good. You can drop one of your weights, just go to one dumbbell. Hold the weight in the same side as your front leg. Go ahead, split stance squat, straight through the front heel, curl it and press it, good job. Good, so again, 90 degrees through the front heel, inner thigh tight. If you need to readjust yourself, readjust, making sure everything's really strong in the middle, good job. Good, you don't wanna lock your leg too forcefully in the front. Five seconds, so keep that knee slightly bent. That'll kinda keep your posture in line, good. Three. Two, let's switch sides here. Last exercise for the circuit. Let's go. Straight down, curl it and press it. Good. Bianca can do this exercise without holding on to anything, but if some of you are just starting out and feel a little unstable, all you gotta do is get close to a wall and just kinda use your opposite hand to balance yourself up a little bit. It's very important to do that if you know that you're not going through the front heel, keeping the front leg at 90 degrees to do this. Five more seconds, good job. Straight down, three, two, good job. Quick little break here, coming back for the next circuit.
Welcome back to the workout. We're gonna do the burnout circuit. We're gonna start off with two weights. We're gonna do a plie squat, curl, and press. We've done all of these exercises. Go ahead and start it up. Drop it down, curl, and press. We've done all these exercises, so you wanna make sure in this burnout circuit to transition through each exercise as fast as you can, making sure you keep good form on the squats, driving those hips back, on the split stance, keeping that front leg at 90 degrees, just like we talked about. Five more seconds here, we're go dropping the weights, going to push-ups. Good job, three, two, drop it down. We're hitting some push-ups, y'all, leading with the chest. Good angle so you can see how this back is staying straight just like always, good. If your arms start feeling tired and you know that your form's not doing great, you want, normally you wanna drop it, you wanna go as low as you can, but you can stay up high if you need to, making sure that form is doing really well, come on. Good job, five more seconds, we're bringing it up, plie squat position, good job. Three, two, let's bring it up, plie squat position. We're just repping these out here, we can grab some weights if you want more of a challenge. Just gonna keep the weights here, all the way up, all the way down. Good job. Again, the big focuses are driving those hips back, keeping the weight through the heels. With the weights, it's even more important for you to be aware of your posture, because the weights are gonna kinda wanna drive those shoulders forward. You gotta keep a big chest, throw the shoulder blades back, lock it up in the middle. Good job. Five more seconds. Good, we're taking those weights behind the head. Three, two, good. Overhead tricep extension. Good job. Let the weights drop all the way down. Good, nice semi-wide stance about shoulder width. Get a good base, it helps keep the hips back. Good extension with the back. Good job, let those weights drop. Good, flat of the dumbbell, flat of the ceiling. Let's finish it up, y'all, finish it up. We got five more seconds. We're dropping one weight, going to split stance position. Three, two, good job, one weight's dropping. Split stance position, let's get a side view here, perfect. So 90 degrees to the front, we're curling it, we're pressing it. Good job. So you don't want to watch your body, don't let it go forward, you want to go straight down, all your weight's going through your front heel. The things that help that happen are keeping your hips back and keeping your shoulders back. Focus on those two things, everything else will kind of go in a flow. Five seconds, good, switching legs, three, Two, let's switch legs, switching angles here. Good job. Straight down through the front. Bring it up, curl and press. Awesome. Curl and press, good job. Notice how she's full extension on, your, on the arm with the bicep curl, full extension with the press. She's not locking her front leg, slight bend on the front leg. Remember, if you need a little help with stability, you can come by the wall and finish these reps out. Five more seconds. We're dropping down to push-up position, y'all. We're gonna do the last little burnout here. Three, two, drop that weight, push-up position. This is the burnout for the burnout. So we wanna drop it down, do some push-ups here. Good, towards the end, especially on your burnout, you wanna really watch how your head is, is not jutting forward. So just don't go as down, down as far to keep that form really good. Backs are straight. Five more seconds, we're bringing it up to plie squat position. Three. Two, let's bring it up. So plie squat, we're just gonna do one squat. We're gonna stay low and do some pulses. So you wanna drive those hips back. Good, you can keep the weights if you want a little bit more of a challenge. Good. Notice how it's just quick movements here. Two or three inches down, two or three inches up. Staying as low as she can. Five, 10 more seconds. Let's get low, let's get low. Good job. Five more to go. We're gonna do one more round, starting the push-ups again. Three. Two, let's drop down, push-up position. Last two exercises, y'all, let's give it your all. Good job, rep it out, rep it out. Lengthen out the body nice and good. Take the chest forward. The, look, the focal point is about two feet out in front of you to make sure you keep the head strong. Good job, 10 more seconds, let's get three more in, come on. You can do it, you can do it, two more. Last five to go, let's get one more good one. Three, two, plie pulses for 20, you're done. Let's go, y'all, come on. Let's finish it up here, low as you can get. Good. Low as you can get without rounding those shoulders. Big strong posture, tight in the middle, working through the heels. Good job, y'all. 10 more seconds, let's drop it down one more inch if you can, come on. There we go, there we go. Five more seconds, finish up strong, keep it going. Three, two, awesome job, y'all. Workout done, see you for the next one.